In this L2 data mapping video, we're going to go through the process of exporting emails from the system. Now, the first thing you have to check into is if you have emails associated with your data. It is not part of our sta standard taxonomy in the voter, consumer, or automotive file. In this case, we're looking at the voter file. Um, but in any case, where you're going to see emails is underneath private data. So you can see private data and then right below it L2 email addresses. This will typically be added by a member of the L2 staff or a member of your team who has added it as a private branch. So now we've got the emails added here matched yes. And you can see we've got 28,000 emails in this Washington State House District. This is House District 30. In this case, I'm going to go down and I'm going to select all the emails. Now you can do an export where some records have emails and some do not, but in this case, I want all my records to have emails, so I'm going to select yes next to matched or underneath matched and L2 email addresses. I'm going to scroll back up to universes. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to type in HD30 for House District 30, emails attached. Create universe. Now, once the universe is created, you can click close window, go to universes here, you can find it. Now, in some cases, it'll be purchased like this one is. You can see this universe has already been purchased or like the universe below it, add this universe to the shopping cart because it hasn't been purchased. But in this case, let's assume that the records have already been purchased and there's a whole other video on doing that. Uh, but in this case, we're now just going to go work on the download. So in this case, we'll go to HD 30 emails attached. Then we go to the download this universe button and then we'll go down to new. From there, we go to data export and CSV format where you can create a custom CSV format. Click on next. And then instead of going to any of L2 standard sets, which includes simple extended and L2 ID, these are our standard exports, you need to go and build a custom field export. And all we're going to put in here is name, zip code, and email. Here's how to do it. Click custom field sets, click new, and we're gonna call this email export one. We'll go to identification, and like I said, we'll do name, first, middle, last name. We're gonna to go to addresses, residence address, scroll down to zip code, and then we're gonna go all the way down to private data, L2 email addresses, and we're gonna click on the button next to email addresses. If you click matched, it's only gonna give you a, an indicator or a flag of why that this is matched. In this case, this will give you the actual email addresses. Now I'm gonna click save, you can see the fields that are in there, and then I'm gonna click use. From there, I'm gonna zip the file just because it'll improve the speed of the download and then click on generate. It's now queuing up the download. And from there, once it's ready to download, you will see that the data will include or the file will include the actual verified email address. And that's how you do it.